everyone. I'm Jim Thayers, the CEO of Primrose Retirement Communities, and today with me I've got Ron Hilsendegger. He is the Director of Maintenance here at Primrose, and uh, as of late has certainly taken on other roles. Ron, maybe you can share a little bit about what you do here and, and what you've been uh, tasked with here of late. Yeah, I mean, normally <clears throat> with the maintenance department, my, my regionals and myself, we get to work with all the communities and keep, the, keep them looking good, keep them safe for our residents and staff. But as things changed in the last month or so, um, we saw there was going to be a need for um, products and materials that use of dues are normally quite low and they were going to increase quite a bit. So we tried to jump in and help to just secure those things, try to get them out to the communities that need them. In addition to being a, an employee at Primrose, uh, you also have a mother that, that's one of our residents. And, you know, maybe you could tell us or share with us a little bit about your mom and the experience. Yeah, my mom lives in the, the assisted living community in Aberdeen, and so <laughs> we've been over there. She's been there about a year and a half, so lately we've been doing the window visits for her the best we can because I know she's, we call her on the phone. Um, she's getting a, a little lonely, I think, but, you know, deep down that she knows that it's, it's the right thing. Um, and every time we do talk to her, she's, she's just so grateful for what the staff is doing over there. She knows that. What they're doing is, is what has to be done, and she's ready to get out and do some different things, I think, but she's she appreciates it, and I know that we, I mean, it gives us a lot of comfort knowing that she's she's safe and she's in the place that she should be. Anything more that you think uh, Primrose could be doing for your mother or for what's going on right now that she shared with you at all? Yeah, I mean, she's very complimentary with staff. She says, you know, they come in and they try to, spend time with her and talk with her as much as, as they can. Um, she, always, she, always, she always says the same thing, that you know, they take good care of her. So that's, that's, that's exactly what we want to hear. That's the most important. That's right. Is there anything uh, in particular that you would like to say to our Primrose staff and all of our communities out there? You know, I've actually, because of what I've been doing, I have the opportunity to speak to, to staff in several locations. And I've actually, Try to share with them. I think that you know, they're saving lives, in my opinion, and they kind of—I don't know if they feel uncomfortable with that, or maybe it's over dramatic. But I think that's actually true, and, and at a minimum, they're protecting lives. Um, you know, so I think I know there's a lot of sacrifices being made, you know, putting our families probably before their own, even. But I mean, I think they should be proud of what they're doing, and you know, in the end, if there is an end of this, or when, however that works out. It's going to be something they can look back on and say, we did it. Mm -hmm.